Hey, this is Jackie from Plan a Healthy Life. And in this video, I'm gonna share how you can create a digital planner for your Beachbody workout trackers and nutrition guides. I'm gonna be demonstrating this with Morning Meltdown 100, but you can use this concept for any Beachbody program. And we're gonna do this using your iPad and the GoodNotes app. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can organize your Beachbody digital materials inside of GoodNotes. So in the olden days, you used to get a box that had your workout DVDs and it had booklets. It had a workout calendar, it had a nutrition guide that was a physical book you could look through to choose your recipes, that you could check off your workouts. But nowadays, everything is digital and it's located in Beachbody On Demand. So I'm gonna show you how to get all those materials into one place, which is GoodNotes, and how you can edit the, those files and mark them up with text, with handwriting and photos, so you can track your progress and make notes along the way. Now, why would you wanna do this? Well, it's good to have all your Beachbody files organized in one easy to find place. All you have to do is go to GoodNotes. You can also track your workouts and note the weights that you used in those workouts right on your iPad so you don't have to print out paper trackers anymore. Also, you can write on the PDF documents with text or with your stylus so you can add notes around the workouts that you do, the recipes that you try, and the meal plans which are gonna help you in the future. And finally, you can add additional pages or notebooks to create a food journal or track your progress with stories and photos. So essentially, you can take all those digital materials and compile them into almost a digital planner for your Beachbody workouts. So what are the supplies you need? In the way that I'm gonna show you, we are going to take your Beachbody workout digital files that you can access from Beachbody On Demand, and I'll show you how to do that. You need an iPad or a tablet, and the iPad that I'm demonstrating on today is the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. You also need the GoodNotes app that you can find in the App Store, and this concept does work on other note-taking apps like Notability, for sure it will work in there. There may be others that I'm just not aware of. And lastly, you will need a stylus or an Apple Pencil. And if you have the choice, if your iPad is compatible with the Apple Pencil, I highly, highly recommend you spending a couple extra dollars to get that because I did try it initially with a stylus and there is no comparison. The Apple Pencil is amazing. So there's three simple steps that you're gonna do to create this basic digital planner for your Beachbody materials. And the first is to save your Beachbody program materials to cloud-based storage so that you can access those from your iPad. The second step is to import and organize those documents inside GoodNotes, and I will demonstrate that for you. And then the third step is to use text, handwriting, and or images to edit your workout trackers and nutrition guides. All right, now I'm gonna share my screen with you and we are gonna go over to Beachbody On Demand and I'm gonna show you how you can download those um, workout materials so you can import them into GoodNotes. So I'm gonna demonstrate on Morning Meltdown 100. You're just gonna click on that and then you want to click on Program Materials. So you can see you have a getting started guide, you have the B100 book, and then under the nutrition tab, you have the nutrition guide, which is also the recipe booklet. And then under calendar and tracking, you have a wall calendar and a prep calendar. Um, in my not so humble opinion, um, you, the getting started guide is not that big of a deal. I'll we'll go ahead and download that, but um, I don't think it's really necessary. It just gives you some simple tips. But what we wanna do is click on that. And then over at the top right hand side, you're gonna see that share icon and you will click on that. And so then what you want to do is to save it to cloud-based storage. Let me see, oh, I always forget. Okay, so I'm gonna click save to files and then I prefer to use OneDrive. So what you wanna do is to save it to like the Apple Cloud, to Google Drive, to Dropbox if you have that. Um, 
you can save it to your iPad. I don't like to keep a lot of things on my iPad so I can save space. So I use Microsoft OneDrive and then I'm gonna click on files. And here I have, this is how my, um, on my computer everything is organized. I'm just gonna go and let's just click it to files, Beachbody programs, and we have Morning Meltdown 100. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there and save it. Okay. So then you can go back and do the same thing for the B100 book and you would click save. I already had these saved on my computer so I'm not going to show you again but that's the same process. You click that share icon and download that to your um, cloud-based storage. So now that you have all of the files that you want saved um, let, let me just show you some of these things so you can see. The nutrition guide for sure you would want to save. And the wall calendar, this is how you track your 100 workouts. So definitely save that as well. The prep calendar is one when Morning Meltdown 100 was offered sort of as a, I forget what they called it, like, like you could get a preview version of it if you paid a certain amount of money over the summer, which I did, and it was worth it. Um, there was a prep calendar, so they were some um, workouts that weren't quite the full length workouts. Um, I don't know if they still even have those prep workouts up. You could download that if you want, but a lot of people just jump into the main program. And then um, if you're doing doubles and rest days, that might be something to consider. I now also, I'm, I'm, I will tell you that I am a Beachbody coach and I've been a Beachbody coach for many years. And I don't necessarily follow a calendar like this with the rest days on whatever day Beachbody tells me should be my rest day. But instead I would, and I do add rest days, I would just use the regular program and go along and then when I need a rest day, I would just insert it based on my own life and how my body is feeling. Okay, so now that you have these saved, what we're gonna do is go over to the GoodNotes app. And it is available in the um, Apple App Store. I think, I can't remember the price, I had this on my iPad for a long time and then I recently upgraded to GoodNotes 5 and spent a couple dollars. I think it's like a maximum of maybe $7. I'm not 100% sure. It's maybe in the $5 to $7 range, but for me it's totally worth it. So this just pulled up what I had on my, um, <laughs> what I was looking at last. So I'm going to click over on the far uh, left hand side, this little arrow. I want to go to this document screen here and this is where we're going to add a folder to store all those Morning Meltdown 100 files that we just saved. So we are going to click on New and then Folder. And now we're going to name it. So I'm going to name it Morning oops, Morning Meltdown 100 and click on Done. Okay, so now let's click on that new folder we created and we're gonna add those files. So click on the plus, and this time what we wanna do is import the document. So click on import, and um, let me go over to where they are stored. I had it all set up, and then obviously I was in other things. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and start adding them in. So we can do the getting started guide. Let's just go ahead and add that. Now let's go back and hit new again, import. And then how about the 100 days tracking calendar? Hit new, import. Let's do the nutrition guide. New, import and the B100 journal. And that's all that I'm gonna add. If you wanted those other calendars that they have, you feel free to um, add those as well. So now that you have these organized in one place in GoodNotes, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use these documents, how you can add text and images to 
track your progress and make notes along the way. So let's go ahead and look at the getting started guide. Just click on that and you can just basically this is information for you to use getting started with your program. So you'd want to read this and doubtful that you will make notations on it, but it's just something to know. Here's the steps that you need to get started with your program. So I'm not really going to add anything to that. But then let's look at the tracking guide. So here is where in the olden days we would print off a tracker or even before that we would get a tracker from Beachbody and put it in our workout room and cross things off. So what you want to do obviously is to track your workouts and here's how you can track them using GoodNotes. Now over in this top right hand corner you see a little icon that looks like a pencil right after the plus in the middle. And so I want to click that. When that icon looks like it does now, you're basically in read mode or scroll mode. So um, you can't edit. When you click on that, then you have your editing options. So assume you did workout number one and you want to mark that off. There's a couple different ways you could do it. Number one is this highlighter icon here. And you can see that it has three colors, like your traditional yellow, but also if you click on any of those colors, you come to a palette where you could change it. So if you wanted to, if there's a color that is particularly makes you happy or whatever, if you want to use it to match the colors in this planner, you could always choose whatever color, but I always like just the traditional yellow highlighter. So you would select that. And then when you do workout number one, you could just cross it off. And we're at number two, cross it off to track your progress. That is one way by using the highlighter tool. If you use the pen tool, which is this icon over here, I'm going to click on it. Again, you have different color options and these lines on the right hand side are thickness options for your pen. Um, I like this kind of corally red color. So that's a color that makes me happy. And I'm just going to use that if I wanted to track my workouts using pen, I could cross them out just like this. You just write on top of it. I'm using my Apple Pencil. Um, you can zoom in if you want. Just use two fingers and you could make a smiley face. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, you can make a star. Now, one thing, if you're kind of particular about how things look for you, you could use this shape tool. So I'm going to click on the shape tool right here. Now, if I want to cross off my workout number six, I just draw a line and I hold it and it makes it a perfect straight line. So you can kind of see this is wavy, but I click it. It makes it a straight line. Isn't that cool? Right? All right. So that is how you can track your workouts each day. Now, if you did have an image saved in your camera roll or someplace else that you wanted to use like a digital sticker, you can do that as well. So let me show you here. I'm going to just click here. Now over at the top, you see my camera roll and I don't have anything that's really good for a digital sticker, but I'll just click on, I'll click on a picture here and <laughs> here we go. I'm going to cross that down. So let's imagine this was a picture of like a star or a happy face and you can just size it down and put it there. That's your digital sticker. All right. So that is the workout tracker. So let's go back to our other documents. And now let's look at the nutrition guide because this is super important. If you've done beach body programs in the past, you know that they tailor the nutrition program for each particular workout. And so if you want to follow it exactly as Beachbody has written it, you really need to read this nutrition guide. And so you go through and read all the information. Now, the first thing that you want to do is choose your goals. So here I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and what you want to do is decide, do I want to lose weight on this program or do I want, I want to maintain? And then that goal and the amount of meals that you eat is based on your weight. So you can see over here in the left hand side, less than 168.9 pounds. If your goal is to lose weight, you are on plan A, which is about 1200 calories. So let's imagine you weigh 150 pounds. You want to lose weight. 
you would be on plan A. So then you can either highlight that plan, so now you know, right? Or let's say you weighed, let's say 175 pounds and you wanted to lose weight, you would be on plan B. Another way that you can mark this off so you can remember very easily is to go, let's use the pen tool and let's pick the green color this time and then you could circle it. There we go. Okay, so just as explanation, it's pretty clear and it is explained in this book, but if you are on plan A, you get to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you're on plan B, you get to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner and two snacks. So basically the plan tells you how many times a day you can eat and then what you do rather than use a portion type program like the 21 day fix you use the recipes in this nutrition guide so you can go ahead and read all the details i talk about the um, uh, supplements and so on and then you get to the recipes so let's assume you're on plan a because i swear every single time i've been on a beach body program it's always plan A, it's always 1,200 calories, and I'm just gonna tell you that I think 1,200 calories is too low for anybody. There's no way I could ever exist on 1,200 calories, um, but you know, they're the experts and not me. So in this workout guide, there are many breakfast recipes, as you can see. And so when you're doing your weekly meal planning, you can see which recipe you want to choose for your breakfast and I'll just give you an aside here also I really recommend doing what um, I call a pick two type of meal planning and that is to choose like two breakfasts and rotate them throughout the week choose two lunches and rotate them it makes your meal planning way more simple but let's say that you wanted to make this cherry blossom smoothie bowl so here's where editing the documents in good notes is really helpful you can make this just as written and then decide you love it and you want to make this again. So you might want to put a star or you might want to make notations on there. Like maybe you want to say um, double it. Sorry, I'm, I'm writing. <laughs> My iPad is propped at an angle. It's hard to write. But double it or whatever. Or you can decide, okay, um, I didn't really like the matcha powder in there and you can cross it off. But make notations throughout the meal guide so that it's easier for you when you come back to meal plan next week. You can say, would you make any changes? Did your family like it? If it was a recipe that you had to cook, did you have to cook it longer than it said? Or for less time, did you make any substitutions? So then when you're going to actually make your recipes, you pull up this in good notes. I would turn that little editing icon off and then you go ahead and follow the recipe right and again zoom in if you need to read easier so that is the nutrition guide and if you're following it exactly you're going to be in this nutrition guide very often looking for recipes and again make notations add um, text oh let me show you how to add text over the top of this actually I'll, I'll wait for the next guide we'll go ahead and do that next time Okay, so now I'll show you how to use the B100 journal, which is really cool. It's a combination of, let's get to the beginning here, of a workout tracker and sort of a motivational guide. It helps to hold you accountable when you open up your journal every day and input your workouts. So if you look at the journal, it has some information at the beginning. And the first thing that it asks you to do is commit to 100 workouts. So 100 workouts is a big deal and it's good to have that mindset that I'm gonna complete it no matter what. So down at the bottom, see here it asks you to sign your name. So you use the pen tool, choose your favorite color and sign your name. There we go, a little messy. But that's okay and there you go you have some inspiration now one of the things that it talks about is setting up a morning routine so the program is called morning meltdown 100 ideally 
the plan is for you to do those workouts in the morning, but I'll tell you that I'm not a morning exerciser. I actually like to exercise like right before lunch, um, but whatever. If you are a morning exerciser and if you notice that you have difficulty getting out of bed, getting your clothes ready, you know, getting the exercise routine down, you could create a morning routine to help keep you on track. So let me show you how you do this. And I'm going to use the text tool because I really do like using text in my planners. So first let's make it like little check boxes. And I'm going to use that tool again, the little shape tool and you draw a square or something similar, you hold on to it and here's our little checkbox. Now I'm gonna go over to the text tool, click on that. I'm just gonna use black and then you put your cursor, or you can put your finger or the Apple Pencil wherever you want the text to begin. And um, one thing with a morning routine, which would be really good is to wake up and drink water. That's one of the things I do every morning. Okay, so then um, what else could you do? Um, let's copy this lovely box here. Let me show you how to use some of the editing tools here to make our box actually look more like a square. Let's click this, um, like it looks like a little rope. That's your selection tool. And I'm just gonna draw a little circle around our shape there and click on it. Now I have the option to resize. Let's make that a little smaller, okay? now. If I select it again, sorry, do that, click on it, I can copy it and then put my Apple Pencil where I want it to paste and paste it and line it up and paste another one and line it. You can, you can change these, you could recolor them. Like here, watch, we can make one bigger, see? So um, let's imagine we have four steps in our morning routine and I'm gonna, change the color so they're all the same. Oops, that isn't the same, is it? Okay, wake up and drink water. So what else? And again, these are just things I'm saying off the cuff and you can obviously do whatever makes you happy, but maybe you want to put your workout clothes on immediately, right? Maybe you actually have them set up from the night before. So I'm gonna go back to the text tool, click where I want it to go and And um, then what could you do next? You could exercise or maybe, I, I don't like to jump into anything right away. Back in the days when I was a runner, I would get up and I would run immediately and I just like, I like to ease myself into it. So one of the things that I like to do is to get inspired in the morning. So I would like to read or listen to or maybe watch a video on something inspiring. So maybe we could do that in our morning routine. So read, listen, or watch something inspiring. And that could be like a YouTube video, could be listening to a podcast about health, whatever. But that's just when I'm writing in this little morning routine. And then finally, how about let's do our morning meltdown 100. We'll do our workout. Oops, here, let's add another one because then we want to remember to log it. So as part of our, let's go ahead and add another checkbox. Copy, paste, oops. We got all the things there, but that's not a bad thing because look what happens. I have that checkbox. I accidentally selected more than just the box, but it's okay since I want to write text. So I'm just gonna click over here on that. Let's go back to my text tool, click on this. And instead of, Morning meltdown, I'm just backspace here. And then I would like to log my workouts in GoodNotes. And I can just do this so it's all in one line. So there's your morning routine. And again, like we did before, you can add drawings, doodles, whatever makes you happy, smiley faces. You can add pictures, whatever. It's a wonderful thing about good notes that you can um, embellish it in so many ways okay so here this hundred second section is about finding your motivation and your reason why so that's something that you would fill in let me show you just a couple other things so here's the tracker 
and this is great and all beach body workouts encourage you to take your measurements and to take before and after photos so you definitely would want to add a photo and again it's super easy as i showed you before you click on this photo icon and again your camera roll is what appears at the top and you can also go into your files and so let me show you how to do that if you have a photo saved maybe on your ipad or in the cloud someplace so i'm gonna i'm gonna click over here where i want to add my picture so again here's my camera roll and i don't want to use any of those photos but i'll click insert from and again i'm going to my cloud-based storage where i have photos set and i'm gonna go i do have some photos here under 2b mindset i thought i had a photo folder Oops, I was under the wrong thing, right? There we go. I do have photos. Okay. Imagine you're looking for a photo of yourself, right? <laughs> because this is a before and after photo. But I'm just showing you with any picture. So here, let's just use Jericho. Here's one. Imagine that's a picture of you, and you just put it wherever you want. If you wanted to crop it, you can. You click on the photo again. And here you have the crop option, and then you can freehand, or you can just use the rectangle, and just slide it over, and there you go. So imagine that's you. Okay, and then down at the bottom is where you can take your measurements and add your measurements. That's a really cool thing. All right, and then again, here's more uh, motivation before you begin your one B100 tribe, and that would be people, um, your circle of friends or your workout buddies who you want to, you know, hold each other accountable. And then you get to the daily pages. So this is really cool. Um, your workout number one, you would add the date and the time. And again, you can add them with the pen tool. And I, for me, it's just as easy to add text. So I almost always add text. Let's say it's 8 a.m. Oops, I don't know what that symbol in the middle is. Okay. You check off your commitment level, and of course, it's a 5. And then your why, and that's something that you have already figured out through the previous pages. It's like my why is always to be like a fit, healthy, and active person now and into the future. So I would write that there and then create a positive intention for the day and committing to tomorrow's workout. So by doing this after you do the workout, you are focusing on the accomplishments you already have and also looking to the next day, which is a really good thing. But I wanna show you something here, how you can add pages to this workout journal if you wanted to track additional things. Maybe you wanna do more journaling than just what is on this page, or maybe you wanna keep a food log. And I love keeping a food diary. As I said, I don't follow the Beachbody programs for meal plans. I do my own thing. But I do a, keep a food journal and I write it down every single day. So if I wanted to incorporate that into this, I can add a page. Because if I slide over to the next page, it's workout two. But what if on day one, I want to record my food? I'm going to add a new page and do that. So I'm gonna click this plus button over here at the top right corner, and then you have some options. Do I want to insert the current template? That would be an identical page to this. It would say workout one. Well, I don't want that, right? So you can add dotted paper, ruled paper, blank paper, and you can scroll through and see the various different things. So let me just go with dot paper just for fun. So it inserts a blank page, and as you can see, right in the middle of workout one and workout two. So here's where you want to do, well, you could, if you wanted, you could do your food journal if you wanted to do that. And I'm just going to show you using um, the text tool because, like I said, I almost always use text. So you could do food log day one, and then you're basically putting either your finger or your stylus where you want that text to appear. And then you could type breakfast. I'll just type what I had for breakfast this morning, which was Italian sausage and kale soup. Oops. 
it was leftovers and it was easy. And I had a collagen coffee. Okay, and then you can go ahead and do the same thing for lunch. If you like, and I like to do this, I like to plan out my food in advance, um, which obviously you would have to do if you're following the Morning Meltdown 100 program, but um, you can write what you plan on having for lunch and for dinner. And then with my food journal, the one that I keep, I always put notations at the end of the day. Um, I will write things like, um, I felt really tempted to, well, right now it's right before Halloween and I have Halloween candy in the house. I can write things like I was tempted to eat the Halloween candy, but resisted, yay. Um, or maybe I did eat the Halloween candy and I would want to um, basically say, okay, I did it today, that's cool. Tomorrow I'm not gonna have Halloween candy or whatever. But I, I'm a real big believer in journaling about our foods because many times we eat for reasons other than physical hunger, we eat for emotional reasons. So I'm getting kind of off the track of good notes and the Morning Meltdown 100 materials, but I wanted to show you how you can really uniquely make this your own journal, food diary, food log, etc. Okay, so then let's just go back here and just kind of briefly recap. In good notes, now you have all of your materials. You can read those materials, you can be inspired by those materials, you can use the calendar to track your workouts by adding text, by adding um, notations, doodles, handwriting, or even adding photos. It's a really cool way to have everything you need in one place to keep you organized and to keep you inspired along your Morning Meltdown 100 journey or whatever beach buddy program you choose. So I hope that you found this video helpful and please check back for other digital planning videos coming in the future.